Hello, today I'm going to show you my trolley motor, PWM, and battery box setup for my Hobby Compass. For the battery box, I use a pure outdoor heavy duty waterproof case. Inside is a 60 amp lithium battery as well as the Minn Kota Traxxas uh, PWM control unit. So I do not recommend you putting the control unit inside the same box as a lithium battery. Uh, this does warm up some and it might cause issues with it being in the same box as the battery. So I recommend you guys buying a separate electronics box and mounting it to the outside of the battery box, separate from the battery. That way you don't come across any kind of overheating issues. Uh, I wanted a cleaner look so I took the chance and mounted it inside along with the battery. So everything is hooked up through the 50 amp circuit breaker up here and the outputs are over here. This is uh, from the PWM to the motor. This is the uh, potentiometer 3 pin connector. This is a uh, hookup straight to the battery if I wanted to add any additional accessories. This one is also hooked up to the circuit breaker right here. Okay, And everything is on a safety quick disconnect. So it's just a little DIY quick connect right here. It doesn't take much to disconnect. Alright. And that gets hooked up to the uh, circuit board circuit breaker right here so it goes from the battery to the quick disconnect and then to the circuit break and then the two connectors right here come off from the circuit breaker all right so <clears throat> I have one connector that's gonna hook up to the PWM this is the potentiometer 3 pin quick discon quick connect. It's gonna go right here. Alright, and this one's unused, it's just an accessory port. I also have some bungees to tie down. All right, so you got two lines coming from the battery box. One is to the PWM control unit. This is the knob right here. Um, so it goes forward and then stops right here and then goes reverse, okay? And it, the cable from the PWM routes the same way as the control box right here and potentiometer knob. And it goes up the kayak and straight to the motor right here. Quick disconnect. Everything I use is uh, Anderson plugs. And so this is my motor right here. It's a Water Snake 24 pound thrust uh, trolley motor. And I also added a ruler to align the prop so that it can stay vertical. Okay. So that it makes it easier to take the motor out of the well. Okay, so let's go straight down like that. Makes it easy. All right. So the way it works is you have your kill switch attached, circuit breaker activated, and now all you gotta do is just turn the knob, and it should spin. Forward, okay, back to zero, now it goes reverse. All right, so now let's say my PDRM craps out, malfunctions, stop working. I can always switch this that goes to the motor to this accessory port 
okay and I was just gonna send full power with no controls to my motor okay so the way I use this as a backup is let me pull this kill switch I activate the circuit breaker and so when I want to run I just connect the kill switch when I want to stop disconnect okay so that's how that works and that's just a backup in case this one does not work all right guys so that's about it if you have any questions just uh, make a comment and ask and I'll be happy to help